Today, we are going to ask Saint Elizabeth for her intercession, followed by her beautiful prayer to the Holy Trinity. Saint Elizabeth of the Trinity, mystic of Dijon, reminds us to be anchored in the prayerful presence of God, especially amid the difficulties of life. Saint Elizabeth wrote, It seems to me that I have found my heaven on earth, since heaven is God and God is in my soul. The day I understood that, everything became clear to me. I wish to tell this secret to those whom I love, so that they, through everything, may also cling to God, through everything. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Saint Elizabeth of the Trinity, you who experience the profound presence of God in the depths of your soul, we turn to you with faith and hope, seeking your intercession for healing in our lives. You endured physical and emotional pain during your illness, yet you maintained unwavering trust in God's plan. We ask for your intercession in our times of sickness and suffering. Please pray for our physical healing and, just as importantly, for the healing of our hearts, minds, and spirits. Saint Elizabeth, you lived a life of profound gratitude and joy, even amidst adversity. May we too find the strength to give thanks in all circumstances and experience the peace that comes from an unwavering trust in God's love. We entrust our intentions for healing to your loving intercession. We ask for physical healing, emotional healing, and spiritual healing in accordance with God's will. Most of all, we pray for the grace to align our will with God's will, recognizing that His plan for us is always perfect, even if it leads us through the trials of suffering. Saint Elizabeth of the Trinity, you who are a beacon of faith, hope, and love, intercede for us before the throne of God May we experience the healing touch of the Divine Physician, and may our hearts be filled with gratitude and praise for His infinite mercy. Amen. Prayer to the Blessed Trinity by Saint Elizabeth. O oh my God, Trinity whom I adore, help me to forget myself entirely that I may be established in you, as still and as peaceful as if my soul were already in eternity. May nothing trouble my peace or make me leave you, O my unchanging one, but may each minute carry me further into the depths of your mystery. Give peace to my soul. Make it your heaven, your beloved dwelling, and your resting place. May I never leave you there alone, but be wholly present, my faith wholly vigilant, wholly adoring, and wholly surrendered to your creative action. O my beloved Christ, crucified by love, I wish to be a bride for your heart. I wish to cover you with glory. I wish to love you even unto death. But I feel my weakness, and I ask you to clothe me with yourself, to identify my soul with all the movements of your soul to overwhelm me, to possess me, to substitute yourself for me, that my life may be but a radiance of your life. Come into me as adorer, as restorer, as savior. O oh, eternal word, word of my God, I want to spend my life listening to you to become wholly teachable, so that I may learn all from you. Then, through all nights, all voids, all helplessness, I want to gaze on you always and remain in your great light. O oh, my beloved star, so fascinate me that I may not withdraw from your radiance. O oh, consuming fire, spirit of love, come upon me and create in my soul a kind of incarnation of the Word, that I may be another humanity for him, in which he can renew his whole mystery. 
and you, O oh Father, bend lovingly over your poor little creature. Cover her with your shadow, seeing in her only the beloved in whom you are well pleased. O oh, my three, my all, my beatitude, infinite solitude, immensity in which I lose myself. I surrender myself to you as your prey. Bury yourself in me, that I may bury myself in you, until I depart, to contemplate in your light, the abyss of your greatness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.